Hey, in this video I'm going to show you a few different methods to transpose audio in Cubase. I have this track that was initially recorded with the capo in the 6th fret, and it was like a finger pick guitar. But when I was reworking the song, I wanted to re-record the vocal, and I discovered that with the capo in the 6th fret, it was outside of my comfortable vocal range, and that was why the vocal needed to be recorded. So what I ended up doing was transposing the guitar down just with the capo and replaying it and then re-recording the vocal, and that was fine. But I had a bass line that was played by a friend of mine, and I really liked what he played, and I didn't want to have to get him to re-record it. Plus the song was recorded a long time ago, so to recreate the whole sound and everything would be needlessly difficult. So what I thought about doing was transposing the audio, and in Cubius, the way to do that is if you highlight the audio event, and then you go up to the audio menu, then click on Direct Offline Processing and then click on Process and then Pitch Shift. Then you adjust it by how much you want. So in this case, I want to transpose it down minus two. Here you can select the algorithm that you want to use. In this case, I want to use Elastic Pro Pitch, which I just found the, the most natural sounding one. And then you just click Apply. It'll take a few seconds. Done. Then when I hit play here, it should be in key. So that's the first method, which is just using the built-in tools in Cubius. So if I just remove the direct offline processing so that you can hear what it sounded like before. So in order to do that, click the audio event, back up to the audio menu, up to direct offline processing again, and then just hit the little trash can icon. And that will remove any of the processing. So here, if I let you hear what it sounded like when it's not in key. So yeah, <laughs> not great. Okay, so the next method is using Melodyne within Cubius as an ARA2 extension. In order to do that, you click on the baseline again, and then up here, you'll have extension and it'll say no extension. And then from there, you can load in Melodyne. Melodyne will scan it in. And then you have your baseline loaded into Melodyne. From there, go up to the edit menu within Melodyne, hit select all, and then just bring it down. And that's it. extension. Another method that you can do within most versions of Cubius is to double click on the audio event, which will open it up in the editor view. Then open up the editor view in full screen and expand very audio. Then click on the edit very audio button. It'll scan the audio and then you will have the baseline here. Then hold in control or command, hit select, select all, and then just bring it down by two.
that's a few different methods of transposing audio in Cubase. These techniques will work better with certain sources and not others. So for example, if I tried it on the acoustic guitar, it probably wouldn't work very well at all. The less that you have to transpose it, the more natural the results will be. For me, I found with the bass guitar, it's, it's working really nicely. So I'm glad that I was able to see of that performance. But yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful and I will be back with more videos soon. Cheers.